like this. And um, I'm kind of like speechless for words right now a little bit too because it saddens me that I had to get so many text messages and DMs from people showing me the article that TMZ put out saying Nelson couldn't put up with the challenge of talking to somebody's wife, which wasn't true at all. It was not true, not one bit. But the most saddened part about it was he wasn't up for the challenge. To me, they took that as a joke. I could have really lost, lost my life or something long-term could have affected me. Who knows? Anything could have happened in that incident to where I was unconscious, knocked out to the floor. You saw the pictures, but them to, for TMZ to make a joke about it and say I wasn't up for the challenge. I was a victim to this. There's so many people out there that this happens to. And you know, one, one of the reasons why I put out that video is because I wanted people to stay on their P's and Q's and always have their eye open because I'm not used to this kind of fame. I was never thinking I would ever make TMZ growing up. And I'm a people person, so I welcome people in. So being on MTV for the last six years of my life and having the fame that I say, even when people call me famous nowadays, I still don't think I'm famous. I really don't. Um, I'm very humble. I'm, uh, it, it's a very honoring thing to say, but I really don't think those things. But regarding that, I always, I'm always taking pictures with people. I'm always giving hugs out. I'm always putting a smile on my face with my fans and friends. So when people are coming towards me, I don't think it's in a malicious way. I've always thought it was in a positive way. It's like, oh, Nelson, we look up to you. Oh, Nelson, we care about you. You do your thing on the MTV. You act a fool. You do stupid stuff. So I'm not expecting anybody to be malicious towards me or anybody to physically want to hurt me. Maybe say some stupid shit to me like, hey, Nelson, work on your puzzle game, but never, ever be malicious towards me. So... That night, man, I was I was in Vegas. You can read the article on TMZ. They rewrote the article again once I talked to them. And thank you, TMZ, for hearing me out and my side of the story and not some criminal or the police report. Um, I want to thank you for that. And I also want to give a big thanks to MTV because, people, I was going through it this morning not knowing what to do, not knowing who to call. I don't have a PR. I don't have a manager or agency that deals with this kind of stuff. So I was lost. Um, luckily, I had fans in it. Uh, I, luckily, I had friends in the industry, aka shout out to iHeartRadio, Ashley, um, shout out to Corey, shout out to Aaron, shout out to people that told me what to do for moving forward because everybody know I act out of emotions all the time. So I really wanted to just go on Instagram and just blow up. But I took a minute to think back about everything. And um, I was happy that TMZ put out another article updating my fans, friends, and family. I was thankful, but I wasn't thankful for what they said because it just took, it just, they took the incident as a joke to me. They also, the second article they put out update was called KO before he was KO. This wasn't a boxing match. This wasn't no UFC match. This wasn't a joke. This wasn't a prank. This wasn't something I was doing, something to get likes and followers. This was something that happened to me that literally hurt me physically and mentally. And that's why I'm so pissed about it that people think this was a joke. I want people to open up their eyes. There's not all good people out there, and I've learned that the hard way. But for, for somebody to, it disgusts me that you make this as a joke for to sell ads or magazine or clickbait shit. That really pissed me off. So that's why I was so upset and angry because I still deal with that till today. You know, when people come up to me now, I'm very cautious. Now I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, we can take a picture or, or you want my Instagram or this and that. Like, I'm like, Please, please give me some feet. Give me like don't don't come into my circle. I've never been like that. I've always opened people with open arms, but now this shit has changed me. So I don't think TMZ saw that. I don't think a lot of people saw that. But this shit, this situation changed me a lot. I'm very cautious when I go places now. Even my mom is telling me you probably need security, Nelson. It's like who the fuck am I? I'm just another guy. That got was very lucky and was blessed with opportunities that I took full advantage of and that I'm trying to use my platform to better the world. You know, it sucks because I've always had this spitting image coming off MTV as a reality talk reality TV star, which I am. I, I own that shit. I get it. And um, I've always had a bad attitude, but throughout time I've always grown and been a better person to learn from my mistakes and showing other people that you can do better in the younger generation. 
But it sickens me when you got people like TMZ writing articles and don't know the full story. And the title alone, don't even take my shit serious. This shit wasn't a joke. And it, that's what's upsetting. And that's what hurts. And that's what's disgusting about this world. When somebody's actually hurting, they think it's a joke. When you tweet something on Twitter, when it, if it's not negative, it doesn't get a bunch of likes or retweets. But I mean, if it's something, if, no, I'm sorry. If it's something positive, it doesn't get a lot of likes. It doesn't get a lot of retweets. But if I put out some dumb shit or some negative shit or some uh, foul shit, oh, like, 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 uh, retweet, retweet. Oh, let's see. Let's get the scoop on that. Not, hey, TM, hey, is Nelson okay? Is, um, what about the other victims out there that's gone through the same thing? Let me speak for them. People have gotten it worse than me. I got lucky with a broken nose. And look at me. I'm saying I got lucky. Look at what kind of world we live in where I got lucky that I only walked away with a broken nose and a chain ripped off my neck. Jewelry that was ripped off my neck that hasn't been replaced. And tell me, people, I'm paying these hospital bills. You know why I'm paying these hospital bills? Because the guy never showed up to court because he has warrants out for his arrest because he's a criminal, because he's made more mistakes in his life. And y'all want to call that the, the girl out, the, I was talking to his wife? The woman was never there to say claim it was his wife. It was all bullshit lie so he can get away with my jewelry. That was it. I walked out of, I literally walked out of Aria, asked him where the Uber was. I was out there for 10 to 15 seconds. You can see it in the video because the cops are even telling me, you literally walked out of Aria for like 10 to 15 seconds. Boom, knocked out. Where was the time to flirt then? No time to flirt at all. So y'all took in that and y'all ran with it and y'all made a clickbait thing. And this shit's not funny. It's not. It's not at all. And it's upsetting and it hurts. And, um, you know, I just really had to get this out of me and let people know. And I want to speak to all speak to all the victims and all the people out there. Please, please stay on your P's and Q's. Please have, please have your friends around. When you're out and about and you're in a city that you're unknown, have friends around looking behind you, looking beside you before you cross the street. Because you never know what can happen to you when you walk out your house. You never know. And not only that, it affected me in such a long run. Just... You know how much this surgery costs people? And I don't have health insurance. Let me put that out there. Yeah, I don't have health insurance. I usually have health insurance when I went on MTD during the challenge and I get it when I got back. I didn't, I didn't get it. I had to pay out of pocket. I had to pay out of pocket, people. That costs a lot of money. Not only that, that I couldn't work. I could not work. I couldn't post on Instagram. If y'all did not notice, I wasn't even on social media for a while because of that incident. Everybody kept asking me, where are you at? They thought I was filming a show. No, I had to deny a show because my nose was broken. You know how much money I lost? What that money could have done for my family? What that money could have done for the bills? For the shit I had to pay for it throughout life? But no, I had to say no to all that shit because I had a broken nose and barely can breathe. You know how much on pain pills I was on? My best friend, my brother, I couldn't even walk out the hospital. I couldn't walk out the hospital. My brother had to carry me because I was so doped up because of all the pain. You know how much pain medicine I had to take every day? Every day. I couldn't fucking eat. That's, and, but, but you know what? The press doesn't see that. They have no regards to that. All I can say as a hurt young black man, good looking black man talking to somebody's wife, which was fucking bullshit. They, they, just, they just excuse all the other shit. And that's what's so hurtful about it. Let me calm down and relax. You know, I had a full day to think about this. I am pray every day and I'm, I thank God that I'm here. And you know what? They still haven't caught that guy. They still haven't caught that guy. I'm still paying medical bills. Still have to pay for a lawyer. I don't know I'm, I, I've never dealt with something like this before, so I'm going with it. Luckily, Dr. Shimada was, I was able to reach out to a doctor so he could fix my nose, and I'm thankful for that so much. And that tells me right there that there's still good people in the world. There's still good people in the world. And, um, but don't get it wrong, people. Don't get it wrong. Always keep your eyes open, no, regardless of where you're at. And it just made me feel that I, it's not a safe place. Unless you're in your home, around family and friends, around just then, then you're not protected. Anything can happen. Anything. Um, somebody just asked me, did I get my chain back? No, I did not get my chain back. It's the last thing I was worried about. But no, I didn't get my chain back, everybody. 
um, yeah, I'm moving on. I'm letting it go. I rest in peace. I prayed about it. And it's just time for me to let it go. You know, um, unfortunately, I'm still dealing with the um, paying my medical bills, paying for everything else, you know. But, you know, the man upstairs is going to help me get through all this. I just had to say my peace to people. And I appreciate everyone that DM me and text messaged me. And I appreciate everyone that did not fall for that bullshit ass TMZ article and didn't repost that. And if you did, you don't really know me. You really don't fuck with me because you know I'm not that kind of man. But moving forward, um, I want to say one more thing. I just want to say I'm thankful and blessed for the people that do love me. And I'm thankful for all my fans and friends, for the people that have supported me throughout this time. It's meant so much to me, especially when I posted that video of my surgery. I did not want to do that. I kept calling friends and family like, I don't want to post this video. I don't want all these comments. I don't want this pity patty party feel sorry for Nelson. That's the last thing I wanted, people, because I didn't want nobody. I thought I could just put this behind me, but I've realized, you know what, Nelson, this happened to you, and it happens to people all around the world. So speak on it, own it, and that's it. Move forward with your life and hold your head up high. <sighs> Um, tonight's challenge was crazy. I know a lot of people want to talk about the challenge. Um, you know, typical Ruby team. Typical Ruby team, man. Um, we couldn't win the challenge. We couldn't follow simple instructions. It was Big T. We thought it was Amanda last time, but Amanda was playing for the other team. But as you saw, it was Big T. Now it's Kyle. Tori feels my pain that he uh, she's on the Ruby team and not on a six-man team, even though... The six-man team still didn't win because everybody's scared of CT. You know, when CT starts barking and he gets mad and he's coming down those trenches, nobody wants to get in front of that train. I feel you. I don't want to get on that train either. But, um, you know, they still didn't have to win, but they did. Shout out to that team. Um, you know, Kyle, as much as he's made mistakes in this game, not mistakes, he's really done that, and he's had snake people in this game. He is a good guy at the end of the day, and he did keep his word that he wasn't going to call me into elimination. But let's be real, people. He didn't want to see this in no cardio and endurance. There's no way that he was even going to look twice at me when he saw, when he saw that elimination because I would have worked anybody in that elimination. That's why, I was, that's why I haven't been called in elimination, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, Logan's on here. I heard, I asked people, I saw Logan talking his shit in his interviews, but that boy doesn't want it either. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think Kyle 